And welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this special edition of Krem 2 News. This is certainly a night to have special everything. Yeah. Just an incredible final, final four game, of course, with Gonzaga going up against UCLA. It was, I mean, it Ugh. redefines buzzer beater. It redefines overtime. Everything. Yeah. Looked like it was going into double overtime. <laughs> oh then a miracle happens. <laughs> OMG. Yeah. That's all we can say. Yeah. We have uh, team coverage, of course. We have our team in Indianapolis, Brenna Green and Mark Hanrahan. They have been there amidst all of the excitement live in Indianapolis, so we want to turn back to them right now. Hi, guys. I just had to confirm with Brennan that that actually happened because I was watching it happen and I saw the ball go through the basket, but I was like, did that actually just happen? My goodness. That was absolutely insane being <laughs> in the building during that moment. You know, when you're on press row, you're not supposed to get excited right. about anything, right. but and not just me, national journalists did like the half rise out of the scene. Then, oh, I have to sit back down again because everyone was so excited. This is a game not just for Gonzaga fans, but for college basketball right. fans generally. This is going to be a where were you type of game. Right. Nobody's going to forget this game. This is an all timer. I think there are very few moments or games like you just mentioned where you see it happen. You're like, that's going to be one that's going to be an instant classic right there. But that moment, they'll play that in future March Madness coverage, right? My goodness, that will go down as one of the best shots in March Madness. That is going to be the shot in one shining moment <laughs> this year. That's for sure. Well, as you might imagine, Zag fans certainly elated after that win tonight. We had the chance to catch up with a few of them after the big game. Take a listen. That was insane. The ending, what do you think about the ending? I mean, it was a great game to be at. You yeah. couldn't have asked for a better game. One of the best basketball games I've seen. What do you think about the ending? Uh, I've been to the Final Four when UNC and Villanova played. That was, that was probably better. That was probably better. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Not even just basketball. That was crazy. <laughs> Didn't have words walking out of there. Yeah. I was just shocked just watching. I mean, end of the game, Jalen Suggs, what do you think? Cold-blooded. That's it. Just cold-blooded. <laughs> he got hit a couple plays before, too. Yeah. He was hurt, and then he, he stepped guys, up. Were you guys a little nervous, though? I mean, oh, a little bit. We were, we were shaking our seats a little bit. We, our seats were right behind, like, on line with the basket, and we all knew it was in. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, unbelievable. Were you guys nervous at all? Oh. Very nervous. I was chasing Holy. up and down. Though. Could not sit down. It was awesome. I was at the game in 2006 when we lost uh, UCLA, and that was a devastating loss. And this was awesome. Unbelievable. Jalen Suggs, Timmy, the whole team, awesome. Uh, I'm speechless. That was just a great experience all the way around. What a, what a game. Oh, my voice is voice. Yeah. These guys see. are triplets born in Spokane, so that's yeah. why we're oh, big. big. We are, yeah, right. We're, we're, we're back. Dad, what'd you think, man? Oh, awesome, awesome. I'm just, you know, one more to go. I told you the other day, three more, yeah. and now it's one more. It's <laughs> one, one, one of the best basketball yeah. games I've ever been to. What do you think of the ending? It was crazy. It was just something you, you would you have in your dreams that hey, this is how we're going to win the game, and it just happens. Wow. So 31 and 0. Gonzaga on the cusp of making history. They are one way away from being the first team to go perfect and win a national title since the Hoosiers of 1976. Yeah, all they have to do is go through a Baylor team that yeah. absolutely throttled Houston <laughs> tonight. Uh, that is the matchup that we all have been waiting for all year. I am so happy almost like relieved that yeah, it's happening because right. this is what it should be. It should be Gonzaga and Baylor in the national yeah. championship on Monday. And the good news about that, because that, that, that game airs right here on Krem 2. You can watch it only on Krem 2, in fact. All right, Tom and Whitney, that's the latest from Indy tonight. For now, we'll send it back to you. Well, I know this is a late night for you, but I'm sure you got a, an extra boost of adrenaline. Yeah. You guys are three hours ahead of us right now, but yeah. uh, just absolutely uh, amazing. Right. And I guess it's UCLA. UCLA, UCLA is just always going to bring us fits and problems. <laughs> right. Right. I could run a marathon with the energy I have right now. So yeah, like, my let's, goodness. Let's go. So let's go through it. Was, oh, they, they've now met three times in the NCAA yeah. tournament. In 2006, they beat Gonzaga in a heartbreaker. In 2015, yeah. Gonzaga beat them. And then, you know, it's now two out of three. So there we right. go. Well, we'll see we'll you guys. Take it. We'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs> we cannot wait, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have done just an incredible job yes. there in Indianapolis, and we just can't say thank you enough.
And of course, we can't say thank you to the Zags for letting yeah. all this happen because wow. we're so excited. <sighs> and yeah. you know, we needed this too. I think it, you know, this been. We did. I know the whole country's had a tough year, but it boy, aren't we special to have this yes. as we're you know ending the pandemic and it's winding down. So very fortunate, yeah. no question about that. And you know, we have seen a ton of fans today, of course, from here in Spokane, but Zags fans are really all around the world. In fact, there's one in Ireland. Her name is Eliza. The game for her started at one in the morning. She stayed up for the entire thing. In fact, she has stayed up for every <laughs> Zag game, some of them starting as late as 3 a.m. her time. I was fully in. I was invested in, in Gonzaga, and, and um, I don't think I missed a game. And I found it a, a great story, and if we win that um, you know, championship, I'm fairly sure there's going to be a movie one, one day, you know? Well, well, we had the luck of the Irish tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> Eliza has been a fan since back in 2012, and she says she's been excited to see, this, uh, see the team do as well as they have this year. And we thank you, Eliza, for some of that Irish luck. I kind of agree with her. I think this is movie mm -hmm. material. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff that movies are made for. This, this storyline, it doesn't get any better. I, I'll go. Yeah, I'll look forward <laughs> to that one. Absolutely, for sure. <laughs> In over a year, Gonzaga students also, we know, were able to cheer their team on inside the kennel. The Zags, they may be in Indy, but the students cheering just as if they were there. So coming up next, what it means to students to finally be able to watch and cheer together.